Okay, hi everyone. So uh, after I made a video about optimizing Zoom for uh, music streaming, I received a question that uh, so what's the difference between mono and stereo? I, I cannot hear the difference. Okay, so I'm going to make this video a short simple tutorial and, and will demonstrate uh, the difference between mono and stereo and why we should use the stereo. What are the advantages of using stereo for for music. Uh, first of all, the mono and stereo, the, dif the basic difference is that uh, for mono, everything will sound in the middle. Y I mean, when you listen to something, right, you can distinguish uh, where it is for left or right. But for mono, everything is clustered together in the middle. So everything you hear, it will feel in the middle. And um, for stereo, it will be spread out depending on uh, the s producers of that song, how they will position the instruments or the singers from the center to the left or to the right. Um, so that's the basic difference on paper, on, on theory. Uh, s now I will play uh, something and I will play stereo first for a few seconds then I will switch to mono and then you can hear the difference. Uh, the stereo image, meaning the white image of the, the, the feel of your listening, it will suddenly collapse into the middle. And later on we'll talk about uh, what are the advantages. So just have a listen first. Now I'm switching to mono. Back to stereo. All right, so you can see that it's really um, squ like squashed, squished into in the into the center. Um, well, we'll we'll listen one more time. And now I'm starting with mono first, so everything is in the middle. So you see when I switch, I press the button here, it will expand the wider and wide image, uh, hearing image. Um, uh, that's for voices and let's move to a instrumental. It's the d it does the same thing. So now I will be playing uh, stereo and then I will press switching to the mono. I'm, I'm playing it in my audio editing software because it allows me to quickly switch between mono and stereo. Stereo now, I'm switching back to mono. Okay, so it's pretty clear that uh, music is designed for stereo listening as far as uh, the reason modern days, before we used to listen to music on mono but that's another history lesson but um, anyway the advantage of uh, listening on stereo is that first of all uh, mono everything will be clustered to get trembled so the voices the instrument they will clash they will trample on each other so you first thing you will notice is that it will be not clear uh, we call it the separations S so we want it in the stereo, we want to be able to distinguish uh, between different instruments and sounds. That's so that's the advantage. First advantage is separation. It's still blending, but it has the separation. So second of all is the frequency will be, now it's only in the center, so frequency will be clashing, trampling, you know, masking each other. So it will be not as good as in stereo. 
Third thing is that you will lose detail. You will lose detail because when we pan, we have separation. We can hear very clear the elect the guitar, uh, the piano. Uh, when you listen back, you will hear uh, small small details that the, the nuances that is there, and which is which is very good for music. So those are the three things that uh, the stereo will bring to us. What is mono good for? Mono is good for speech, for talking like this, because it is naturally comes from one source. But for music, because uh, the producer will pan in different position for different instruments or voices, so it needs to be coming from two sources. So we have to distinguish between left and right. So that's why it is very important that uh, we are able to set whatever Zoom or uh, OBS or uh, Facebook or YouTube that uh, is able to display stereo sound. Uh, only Zoom that by default is not stereo. So I hope uh, this video will give you a clear idea of how stereo and mono can uh, be very different in, in actual hearing and also impact on your hearing exper experience. And I hope this video will uh, bring you uh, more in depth. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any more questions, just feel free to ask me.